Um, talking about trends in the gaming industry, and I think they're also relevant for basically any industry, um, because uh, within Jumbo, we followed also kind of a farming strategy, a lot of farmers, and we also now we need a transition to hunters, but it makes a good combination. And talking about farmers, who has heard of Farmville? Well, I think only 20% in this 30% has heard of Farmville. It's a game, online social game. Um, talking about Farmville, it's a game played by 80 million people a month. And it didn't exist, say, two years ago. It's uh, developed and it was the one of its kind in a new genre, it's called social gaming, uh, on Facebook, where you can play on Facebook against each other. And there are all kind of new gaming mechanisms in it that basically you earn points or money to build and grow your farms with your friends, but you have to invite your friends to become successful. So there's kind of nice mechanism built in and the truth is that basically uh, there's also a new business model and that's all about buying items for your farms. There are two different items called vanity items. Basically the, there's no um, relevance to the, to the gameplay itself, but it's just for your profile and, and gameplay and, uh, items, uh, bigger farm or cows, etc. And people are willing to pay for those small items. Um, actually, in fact, monthly or average amount of money spent on items is 20 cents per user. With 80 million, that's uh, monthly users, that's, uh, that's an interesting uh, concept. And thing is that uh, Farmville is only the first game of Zynga because of their skill, they able to cross-sell people from one game to the other. They introduced last, I think, December, uh, Cityville, new game. And within 100 days, it already reached 100 million users. Within 100 days, and Farmville took two years. So that's why, that's how they become really big, actually, Estimate is that they bigger in value, say five billion, I th believe, than Electronic Arts, also a big player in the industry. Right. So all within, say, three years, and that's one of the biggest trends. I think it's there, social media, and we believe, we strongly believe that all gaming will become social gaming. Uh, and in fact, I don't think it's only for gaming because you see a big trend, and it's called, with some buzzwords, maybe gamification. For instance, I don't know, you've heard about Foursquare, for instance. What is Foursquare? For the people who don't know, basically you check in at a location, for instance here, and then you basically get a badge you can share with your friends. It sounds really simple, maybe, maybe even a little bit stupid. Keep it, what is the saying? <laughs> Keep it stupid simple, right? But it works. And the thing is that uh, um, now they're developing because once you have a check-in, then you can get local offers. Uh, be becoming a mayor, it's called. Then you get a free drink or whatsoever. So basically, it's kind of a lock-in for people to uh, Foursquare and they will develop a business model around it. So that's really interesting concept about gaming me mechanism within just um, advertising business, for instance. Uh, also for getting relevance, creating relevance for your brand. So that's, I think that's one of the most important uh, trends. And, and therefore, um, as Jumbo, a traditional board game company, however, board games and puzzles are social. So we think it's worth uh, for us to, together with uh, Nintech, to create and develop virtual worlds and, uh, and games and, uh, and create new business models. Um, although you don't have to be really big as Zynga, 
because, uh, for instance, there's another trend, really interesting trend with all the iPads and especially the apps. The app world is really interesting uh, trend for us as well because that's where you can make money because people are uh, prepared to pay for time killers. Just a little game on the go or playing with each other with the iPads on the, on the table. So that's still social, but also there's already a business model. Uh, and that's really interesting because that doesn't need uh, a lot of uh, money to develop those kind of games. And also, for instance, there's, uh, there's an example, and I forgot the name of the game, but there's a 10 year old boy and his mom who developed an a app, a game app, and became basically the best seller. For, for, for weeks he was uh, in, the, in the top three and, and then the best uh, best-selling game, just a little boy. So that means that it's also easier to develop games or apps yourself or with preferred partners, of course. But it's not only for the basically the big ones, uh, for instance, uh, Zynga. So I think that's, I think, don't know about my 10 minutes because of course I can go on and go on about um, all the trends in the in, uh, gaming industry. But I think social media and the impact of social on everyone's business model will be really big and not just for gaming. So that's it for me. Thank you.